a new dawn is at hand. The old ways are diminished. Only corruption and deception remain. But one rises above all others, falsely claiming salvation. They gather disciples to take all for themselves. And those who defy this deity suffer. They become servants to pain, imprisoned in solitude, barely existing. Yet only those who have been chosen possess the gift to reclaim what has been taken by the unworthy keeper. Only they can commit to such a burden. If they are able, their pledge shall be rewarded. With salvation.
curse bearer. You bring a dangerous affliction before me, yet I smell fear upon your flesh. You may approach. Who is the woman that speaks before me? An interrogation will not serve you well. Your heart is murky and unworthy of the mercy of the lady of the manor, Helenia. My lady. You speak with respect. Only now as I reveal myself to you. But your curse will always burden you. Many others like you have dwelled here in the manor. I feel a familiarity with this place. A pull I cannot explain. Many would implore me to seek freedom. But freedom is not this life's ultimate treasure. Understanding is what I seek. As do I. Then seek it. Return to me with your findings and experiences, cursed one. And through our understanding, you shall be bolstered yet. And pray, would you do me a kindness in turn? What would you ask of me? I have callings elsewhere, yet I remain. I yearn for this place, for those here with me. If you discover a teacup most blessed on your travels, deliver it to me. For a lady cannot remain in one place for so long. There are whispers throughout the manor. Whispers that reveal secrets. Spells. You will come to understand soon enough. What is this place? Ah, a wanderer. Around these parts. You truly have hardy blood coursing through your veins. Blood that I regretfully do not possess. I am Mark, and this here liquor is my courage. This liquid keeps my heart beating. The only way to heat up my sunless world. This curse has shackled me to shadow. Away from my beloved Mithringal. Mithringal. Tell me of this place. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yet it is a city that now exists merely in my dreams. The contamination smote what I held most dear. The cloud still holds the city hostage. Hence why I remain here. With no hope of forgetting. Despair and distrust has overwhelmed the people. Just like our ancestors... We squabble and doubt each other's loyalty. We've not learned from their mistakes. I know of a man. He sought to rid us of such chaos. It is seldom that one steps forward to do what is right. They call him Herman. You must seek him out before your indisposition takes you. Tell me how to find him. I cannot. The path is clouded. My eyes fail me. Here. I bestow this weapon upon you. What do they call you? Ah, you are branded. Eric, it will help protect your body. Your heart, I fear, may not be so fortunate. Take this key. I hope you find a use for it, for I am finished.
My lady, why do you push such a heavy burden? This carriage is no burden. Not compared to that which weighs upon my mind. The presence of children. Those forgotten. They are supreme and need protection. Only this carriage can provide such sanctuary. They are scattered throughout this world. And there are many away from this land of toil where they will forever be safe. Find them, and I shall show you enormous gratitude.
Something catches your eye. Your wares are of no interest to me. Pity. Surely you require a, an instrument to protect yourself. This place is an unforgiving one. My darling daughter was not so fortunate. She was taken inside that place. My heart is weighed down with my grief. Nevertheless, it is a heart that would surely be lightened with a purchase. Regret is not something you will feel. What is your daughter's fate to be? It is a heavy price, but one demanded by the Church. A Church with prejudice against its own congregation! Sucking the hope out of us all. She is in the chains of these wretched people. I must resign myself to a fate of a hunt. An all-consuming pursuit of those who hold her. I must. Your purchase will be gratefully received. And will return a mere fraction of the warmth to my heart. So, what say you? But be quick, my time is limited, and uh, I must relinquish my daughter from the hell she's in. Hmm.
Remain where you are. I do not wish to be disturbed. My apologies. Yet I cannot help but notice your anguish. Not anguish, but an acceptance of the truth that has evaded me for so long. Tell me, what are you? Eric. I know whom you are, but what is your purpose here? Prayer. Yourself? To mourn. Seek refuge. Many here do. It's a place of acceptance. Finality. Forced upon us by the people up high to save themselves from ailment. A callous man haunts it. One who will doom us all in the end. So, I have accepted my fate and became familiar with where I am destined to be, right here. I cannot continue my life until my husband is at peace. This is impossible without the flowers, only found in the sea city. I fear I will never be able to place them here with my beloved. It is a dangerous path, but one your strong heart can sustain. Will you bring them to me, Eric? The Sea City. I've heard only whispers about it. Can you tell me more? A place that has seen many sacrifices to a deity that we not speak of. A place drenched in riches and in as many secrets. Wealth drove those who inhabited the City of Silver Bridges mad. Those riches still remain, there for the taking. Many have taken advantage of them. Perhaps you will too. A field of death. Some say it is the possession of one man. A testing grounds. I have heard whispers that he steals corpses from their resting places. Their bones, his ingredients, evil courses through his veins, as it does through those things he's created. I pray that the church forgives him, but alas, I fear my prayers will be in vain.
I am caged, <laughs> unable to spread my wings. I need assistance.
sir. Allow me to assist you. Ah! Uh, stay back, scoundrel! This is no place for a traveller. What a boneheaded thing to do. You could have gotten yourself killed, laddie. And in my house, too. This is your abode? I know of a much safer place. You pulling the wool over me eyes, laddie? No. It is a safe place for many. A place free of scourge. For now, at least. Aye, I've heard whispers of it. But only whispers. Gives me the shivers it does. How do I know that I can trust you in the words you speak? You aren't one of those... things. Hmm. Perhaps you're concealing yourself. It's exactly the manner of deception I'd expect. You could be after me artifacts. Technology many would marvel at. I assure you, I am merely seeking to find my way. I suppose it's the best offer I'll get. Aye, be seeing you at the manor.
I plead for safety. For the light to return to us.
stay away from me! Please, no. Keep back. I can't. I have found it. Stay away. I have finally done what I sought out. I will not let you do this to me. I know your soul. One of a cursed man who destroyed the life I had. Oh. <sighs> 
It seems you were right, laddie. This place sure did come up with the goods. Fancy anything you see? Those are not familiar footsteps. Who are you? Eric. I have come to help. Where is Ladakh? I do not recall any Ladakh. He is the Lord of the Cathedral. He... Hmm. You are a defiant with a heavy heart. The Night Crux is taking hold of you. I feel a force taking hold. My heart is weighted. My mind is clouded with no light to guide me. And now I have killed the one who was meant to grant me salvation. His blood on my hands. Herman, a man seeking a cure for the mutations. Alas, you must seek comfort from this. Herman was not the man many thought him to be. Why do you speak these words? Who are you? I am Annabella. I was trying to find a cure for the mutations, help Herman with his research, but he went mad. I couldn't carry it on alone. And then, he imprisoned me. Herman was determined to weed as much as possible from me by force. These laboratories are more than meet the eye. The dead are sacred within these walls, and attended to with more care than any living being. Under our feet are the chambers of the city dwellers who came before. Dwellers of influence and prestige. We must not stop until these people are free from the threat of the heinous. Free 
from the promises they proclaimed so long ago. Of what do you speak? They are ancient forces of evil, branded onto sacred objects, corrupting them. Many do not dare utter their name, as they corrupt the minds of many. Yet I condemn such fear of a name, for I see many horrors more unspeakable than the sepulchre. You have my assurance of help, Annabella. Eric, the name of a troubled man who does not yet know his way, the Nightcrux will be your guide. It attracts them, you see. They will find you. That is a fate I am not eager to dwell on. Then you understand fear. That is courage in itself. You must leave this place. Find shelter at the manor. What about you? What will you do? Rid myself of this affliction. Find the lord of the cathedral of which you speak. It's the best hope I have. Lord Ladakh is not to be trusted. His spirit is cursed by the unspoken beings of the Junas ministry. I will take care. Very well. But I hope to see you also at the manor. Soon.
and her soul needlessly sacrificed. For now the church have sinned. <laughs> These are the consequences. <laughs> it is a moment I will never cast from my mind. I have seen to it that the man who seized her has paid his debt. I sense that you are in distress. Distressed? Stranger, you do not understand. The afflictions I have endured are of a horror you cannot imagine. Tell me, where is Herman? He is dead. Dead? But this cannot be. It must not be. I had no choice. 
None of us have a choice. This dangerous world has taken me into its pit, toyed with me, and cast me aside like I am insignificant. A mere morsel of filth. But now it is my turn to play, to take what I am owed. A power most great, in a place most glorious. The once great islands holding cities of wonder. But greed overcame those who dwelt there. Evil rising from the ashes. Only one managed to keep control of the order of these islands. Shut inside his abode. Until they came. Festering and mutating. They did it. The cursed ones that tore apart the dignity of those dwellers and stole what I held most dear. One whispered of a great structure illuminated in the most beautiful silver glow. I must return and reclaim it from treachery and the clutches of evil.
That is a mighty feast you have. It is all I can eat. From the bones of the dead. It has taken me. Then we must cure you. It is fruitless to try and heal me. The veil is ready to open. The day has been prophesied for centuries. I studied the rumors, the signs. But one must have eluded us. The Federation has failed. I will keep searching until my mind is clear. There has to be something we can do. No. You must leave this place before this curse overpowers you. The beings that surround me will not harm me. Go. Take this. It's the least I can give you. I know of a place where you'll be safe. Head to the manor. I know of a place where you'll be
another round. Surely I have something that will interest you. An interesting selection. Did you use such tools to ignite this place? <laughs> this is no work of mine. This was the doing of one blighted by Shadow Scourge. Their humanity ripped from them. Yet, their will for vengeance did not wane, destroying those who would cross their path. Many were kin who concealed their thirst for power and its source, falling to the diseased one's uncontrollable fury. It is said they were not the only ones pursuing this power. Of course, if you pursue power yourself, you need look no further. <laughs>
Your will grows stronger, Eric. Here, use it wisely. I am gratified to lay my eyes upon you once more. Mithringal, tell me of this place. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yet it is a city that now exists merely in my dreams. The contamination smote what I held most dear. The cloud still holds the city hostage. Hence why I remain here, with no hope of forgetting. Despair and distrust has overwhelmed the people. Just like our ancestors, we squabble and doubt each other's loyalty. We've not learned from their mistakes. Surely you must have some desire to leave this place. If I were to leave, it would challenge the despicable power that controls our beloved Mithringal. A terrifying power no one dares to test. And that includes you. That is why you must find Herman. He is the man who seeks the cure for your affliction. I sense agitation in you and befuddlement. Has the mutation taken you within its merciless grasp? Soon the cold will overwhelm you, wanderer. Make a monster of you. You will become one of them, your heart all consumed. You are not the only wanderer I have seen fall into this affliction. Recognizable only by the mark you bear. A mark of insurrection. The walls of the place where I was held captive were adorned with this symbol. The same as lined Hermit's halls. Do you know of its origin? The symbol of devotees to the gods. They themselves are a poison, contaminating past the Cathedral and Mithringal borders. The creatures that lie in wait there are overcome with that symbol as they grow stronger, spreading their infection into the hearts of innocents. The Cathedral? A place descended from the heavens. It shows us who will rule us and how we must honor them in death. It is an ancient tradition, founded at the city's birth. What happened to the proprietors of such a place? The people of the cathedral were determined to survive. Their solution was to synthesize a power most great to see to their survival. But it spread, mercilessly infecting many, taking their hearts for its own. You may feel the Nycrux clamping your heart in a vice this very moment, young wanderer. But the hearts of these creatures are pure, undiluted evil. We do not dare speak their names. I would not lay my eyes upon. Thank <laughs> you. 
is a strange manor. Pray, tell me more. A place of ancient splendor. Home of the Oxnabils. Now forever tainted by the ones who called it home. Through twistedness and bad omen, people sought solitude. But alas... Tell me more about the curse that has its hold on me. Unrelenting, but made by those who should have held the wisdom bestowed upon them by the common being. It is a great shame that such folly should tarnish the lives of the majority. What can you tell me of Laddick and this Junus ministry of which I have heard whispers? A man unworthy of his position, his power obtained, through distraction and deceit. Alas, the resting place is not the only location Ladak has soiled with his muck. He controls many of the sacred places we once called home. The mark you bear is one I have seen before. Whispers say it is the mark of the imprisoned, the disgraced. But that is what a man like Ladak and his misguided ministry would want you to believe. Neither he nor his erroneous clergy is to be trusted. What can you tell me about these sacred places? It would be wise to reflect upon the true self. For you will find a place of mirrors that show a reflection unrecognisable. It's people driven mad by experimentation. A cage created by a power that should be unimaginable, but is greatly sought. Another is buried deep in rage. Even the bones of our civilization are open to Ladakh's wrath. Up another is shrouded in numbness. Despite Ladakh's influence, he has an adversary he does not dare to face. A man in his sordid kingdom, where the snow never ceases. The final. Well, this is when Ladakh himself must be sought in his lair, but the opportunity to defeat him will be limited, for all other threats must be eliminated before he can be destroyed. Return to me once you have truly comprehended the threat we face and the places most revered. Only then will you begin to understand. Only then can I gift you with more than just words?
sentiments must have fallen upon deaf ears. My hunger could not keep me away. Books and knowledge are all I have left, or all I seek. There are fragments scattered throughout this land. What can I do to help? Find the sacred place, venture down, and seek the tome that I desire. Then the knowledge will be unleashed. A knowledge that speaks of celestial powers of which we can only dream. The cosmos a beacon of understanding. Its reflection ripples on the vast pool, hinting at lost secrets. I've seen the ripples, a presence I cannot fathom. So you've met our goddess. She fell to this land and is scattered across it. Junus is buried deep below the cathedral, but it is said her spirit lives on, trying to communicate with those left behind. We cross paths once more. Pray tell me about the celestial powers you spoke of, the power in the sacred place. Many would describe a glacial weapon, one that only a small collective can wield through an ancient ritual few know of. They can be found, of course, in the most unassuming place you could imagine, yet it is a place of custom, saved only for the noblest of peoples. Many of these ancient powers are solidified in legend, little more than tricks used to impress ignorant people. Not this one. The power is harbored in a frozen and unforgiving place. A vast stretch of water that never thaws, its ripples created from the glow high above. A glacial glow which some believe is an echo of those ancient powers hitherto unfathomable, concealed from sight, yet a mighty weapon. There's much we do not understand. That elevator back in the cemetery, to where does it lead? I have heard whispers of the place. As I recall, it once was a place of prestige, authority. Those who resided in the highest peaks broke through when everything was lost. Then it slowly descended, a stronghold against evil. No one has been atop those walls since. Alas, it is an enigma. gratified to lay my eyes upon you once more.
vengeance grows near. I can almost taste it. Take heed. You must be cautious in your pursuit of such power. Take no strength. It is a strength that belongs to me. All my own. I am the definition of such might. My heart is lightened. A receiver of a great gift. A precious one. Let me help you. No. No. It is my time. My turn.
You are an unwelcome shadow. The forbidden power overwhelms by its own unique means. One that can never be relinquished by the person, no matter their will. You do not have the right to carry such a burden. Who has that right? No one. Maskless one approaches. Come, let me take a good look at you. I sense hesitation in you. My appearance disturbs you. <laughs> I have seen horrors greater than what is before me. That I understand, for it has grown dark around these parts. The joy slowly ebbs away. There was a time when we would dance, frolic together. In harmony. But for some, that joy would never be enough. Their pursuit of perfection and immortality snuffed out what we already held dear. We danced through days and nights, through purple flowers. A delicate yet hardy construction, stone and wood dependent on them. A comforting crib on which to rest your head. What is this place? A ruin. Twisted and mangled into a writhing beast. The grotesque beast of corruption. But beauty dwelt here once? Indeed. I remember it more vividly than ever. And the dancing. The masked balls I organized were legendary. I can imagine it quite the occasion. The most exquisite. I can imagine it quite the most.
will not harm you. You should not be here alone. I lead a solitary life. We are quite content. You are not content. You have concocted a plan, but you aren't sure of it. It requires modification. We all change from young to old, day to day, year to year, past to present. But change is preferable to being lost, is it not? You are not lost. What have you lost? My beloved toys and games. It has been a long while since I have experienced joy from them. Where? That is where I require assistance. I do not have an inkling. Will you help? Did you find my toys? I will do without.
thou art unworthy to be in the presence of such a holy place. A mere knight told you, born to serve our righteous Lord Ladak, and serve thee shall. In the name of Jesus, thou must not resist. Embrace thy faith, pledge thyself.
You were not consumed by the whispers that haunt from whence these flowers came. I would have never dreamt that such beauty could survive in such a cursed place. I am deeply grateful for this gift. Now I may mourn my husband as a wife's should. Fine, that one. Gives you all the power you need. gratified to lay my eyes upon you once more. Bearer, you have released me from the grip of these hallowed orms. Allow me to share my compassion with thee in turn. For years, I have kept guard over this key and the power that lies behind its lock. The capacity to reveal the mysteries of this place. Find it and wield it.
Your custom is most appreciated. Custom? I do not wish to buy anything. Needs outweigh wishes, young man. Come closer. I am the manor. I am the mother. The caretaker. Call me what you wish. However, you are in need, which certainly outweighs my impulse for small talk. And when in need, one needs a spell. You are a witch. This is a crude term you utter. I sought to help the all-knowing, all-seeing, whom I thought to be the best of us. But my gift was a sword with which to murder my sisters. What such weapon exists? A malignant force. We believe it to be dispersed among living things, left to grow like a tumor on people's hearts. I sense the burden you carry. Power is an inexplicable thing, traveler. I feel an unwavering yet unfathomable desire in my heart. Do you know what lingers there? That is an unfair request. Shadows darting back and forth. A flutter which cannot cease. Desires are strong entities that can be enhanced or destroyed with the tiniest nudge. I am most grateful, my dear. I feel its irrefutable power. Oh. Yet, I fear its potential has not yet been fulfilled. Your search is not yet ended. I would not lay my eyes upon or hold such a precious child again. Never have I seen such generosity from a stranger.
a blessed curse, the sweetness of the flame. Despite efforts otherwise, a weak soul cannot be bolstered. Embrace the pain. Renounce control. None shall betray the last faith.
gratified to lay my eyes upon. I must confess, a mere taste of the power soon. Find that one. Give
Huh? <laughs> 
I heard whisperings, shadows. They were pursuing me. The people of death, the starborn, enemies of the wretched souls who took my poor child, and an enemy of mine, it seemed. Nay, I will not remain here. I must act against my pursuers. Find the hands that never cease to work. An endless cycle. They are seekers of death. Yet I will not be their prey any longer, but their hunter. There is no allowance for grief. I must find my way to where others rest. I will deceive those shrouded in grey, merciless and cruel creatures, hiding in the shadows of the moon, feeding on what consumes them in turn. They shall not find me, nor my goods. I will take care to avoid my demise with the most savage of weapons. Are you in need of such supplies? I must continue my- The dead are co- Do not venture among the grave. I will do what I must. I shall leave you now.
leave this place. It is not a destination for a cursed traveler. Who are you? What is the meaning of these words you utter? Evil took it in its grasp. Its whispers remain under the ground. And soon you will join them. For your blood is that of an impure design. You must cease in your endeavors, for it will be the end of you. Your soul will be the next to perish by my own hand. <laughs> You will regret this, foolish traveler. Curse you. Your own arrogance blinds you.
My, it is refreshing to meet a handsome man around these parts, even through the darkness. I cannot see you in such gloom. Why, yes. Mystery is all part of my image. Can you dance, young man? I do not recall. I dance in all places, be it dirt, floor, bones, but always in gloom and shadow, away from the eyes of those who intend to do me harm. It was different in the old times, before it all fell to ruin, to evil. Oh, how I'd love to dance again, at a ball, yet I do not have the means to travel. Everyone I knew and loved scattered across the lands. I can hardly see those lands through my windows now. I yearn one day to see the sun once more and bask in its warmth, to find myself, for I fear I have long gone already. Annika is the name I have been graced with, and you are Eric. There are whisperings about a stranger in our midst. Lost on his way, perhaps you could bring back some much-needed frivolity. Organise me a dance, and I shall help you see a little clearer in the darkness. That is no mean feat, Lady Annika. For sure, it is not. Yet, I feel you will do well. There are others that can help. Some good people remain in the shadows. You will know when you find them, Eric. I wish you good fortune. I know of a place where you'll be safe. Head to the manor. I know of a place where you'll be- Day, mister. This is no place for a child. Where are your parents? I do not think I have any. However, I am not alone. Well, I wasn't at one time. There was another. Many others. Yet I cannot. I know of a place where you'll be safe. Head to the manor. I am most grateful to you, sir.
interruption. It is not me you impede, but the gods to whom I answer. However, they are gods of the highest mercy. I am grateful for their clemency. The path to where you seek may not be so forgiving. A path blockaded with danger for a long while. Only death and despair you will find if you are successful in your quest. However, I sense you are built for such a task. The truth may betray you or steer you to madness. Remember that. I have witnessed lonelier men than yourself foolishly pursue a possession they were never destined to have. One such man lies, deformed in the abyss of the crypt below. A betrayer, who scoured fruitlessly for what he desired, recruiting the lowest of the low to seize what he deemed rightfully his by despicable means. Neither his blood nor intentions were pure. I fear he has become overwhelmed by the evil he sought to consume and manipulate. By the that is why I pray to find answers to questions I have, and to some I do not. The spirits that haunt these lands cloud my mind. Their power is unwavering in the minds of many more. Minds infected by the sepulchre. Then you must stop before you become infected too. Your concern is appreciated. However, your apprehension needn't be focused on me. I sense you have much to do, and must preserve your strength. Here, I may have something that will lighten the load on your heart. Pray, tell me more about these sepulchre. You must not utter so freely about such things. Incapable of mercy, their vision clouded by greed. An encounter with such a foul entity ends in certain death. Fear is a logical reaction to such horror. A force that casts its shadow over us all. The clouds bled the day they arrived. The stains still corrupting the sky above where they now cower. We desperately need our salvation. Could I provide such relief? Perhaps it is a path you could take. Although... Those with the same desire have been burned beyond recognition. Convinced the only way to vanquish the power was to absorb it. Should your weak body attempt to absorb such might, return to me, for I may be able to bolster what little strength you have. I am gratified to see your sense of duty is find the celestial
Would you perhaps consider another? To whom am I favoring? The Lady Annika. She desires to dance once more. I believe she would require a grand venue. One where the beauty of the dance will appear on all walls. I believe she would require a grand venue. One where the beauty of the dance will appear. Find my toys. A single toy brings a moment of joy to my heart. Thank you. I would hope for more. Did you find my toy? A single toy brings a moment of joy to my heart. Did you find my I will do without.
we must be vigilant. Now that the denizen of the frosted fortress has been defeated, Ladak will become even more dangerous. My I am gratified to lay my eyes upon. Eric, what a splendorous place, and the perfect venue for my dance. You have made the preparations, I trust. I have found someone who will grant your wish near the city of Erlum, a masked ball in your honor. Eric, I never thought I would dance again. Your candor and determination have made my dreams come true. Mr. has returned. Have you remembered? Remembered? When you were not alone. You are mistaken. I have always been alone. I have never felt so alone. Yet it is somewhat serene. Quiet. I am grateful for the silence. Cross paths once more. To what do I owe the pleasure? Ah, yes. The text written in this tome is one of rare origin. There is more to find, but is far below the floors of a sacred place. A wet, dank chamber. With these pages, I will learn what I must to cross myself. The light of Ilaris will illuminate the path to salvation.
I am most grateful, my dear. I feel its irrefutable power. Oh. Yet, I fear its potential has not yet been fulfilled. Your search is not yet ended. I would not lay my eyes upon. I feared I would. I feared I would not. I feared I would. I feared I. I feared I would not. I feared I. I feared I. I feared. I fear, I fear, I fear, I fear, I fear, I fear. Curse bearer, you are audacious in your frequent visitations and wanderings. The reflection you see of yourself is one that is tarnished. I have witnessed many a nobleman destroy themselves recruited by a congregation of ambition. They may be rich in wealth, but not in true intelligence. Only one place shall give you a true echo, a path which will grant you clarity, a path that's now solely known by one other, the cosmic voice.
I'm the last of my kind. Take this. A face most fitting to your own. Yet do not use it to deceive, only to assist. Those who seek to be fuddled become the befuddled. You must indeed have the blood of these lands. It is a gift most gratefully received. Well, a good turn deserves another in kind. You must indeed... them all. I am indebted to you, sir. Please take this. But I do not have anyone with whom to play. I regret your sorrow, young one. I pray you find solace and joy again. I'm so glad to have my toys back. They are my company. The only company I've had are phantoms. But I've never set my eyes upon one. I have heard that some people possess lenses for which to see such phenomena. They are like a map. But to which destination I am unsure. I regret that I do not have one. What lenses are these? I do not know, but I think it's a great idea. If I were to see my phantom companions, perhaps I'll be a little less lonely. I know the place where you'll be safe. Head to the manor. Mister, you are too kind. I pray that we meet again some day, in a world less dark. I wish you good fortune.
Unworthy to be in the presence of such a holy place. A mere knight torn, born to serve our righteous Lord Ladak, and serve thee shalt. In the name of Junus, thou must not resist. Embrace thy fate, and pledge thyself. with the true power.
Well, I'd never thought I'd lay me eyes on this again. You'll be the talk of the manor, laddie. Can he get any better than that?
I am no longer alone. It is a wonderful moment. I feel happy. There is no phantom. It is another girl, just like me. Dearest mister, I am not alone any more. Now I may tread a new path, just like you, Eric. Yet yours is one of silver, marked by a harbinger of my own design. You shall find yourself outside Erlem City. We have heard whispers of a path shrouded in mystery. Good tidings. I am most grateful, my dear. It seems I underestimated you in my thoughts, Traveler. It took a great deal of my strength to obtain these. And so, you will be handsomely rewarded. Here, I present one of my wares to guide you. Some traditions are not warranted in such desperate times. Traditions have fallen into darkness, have they not? The one I once regarded, my sister, the leader of the daughters, she turned her back on me, on all of us. I'm the only one of the council to survive. My sister's body is rotting in the swamp. We must be vigilant. I feared I would... I feared I... Curse bearer, you are a dash only one place shall give you a true echo.
heart is full once, and yet I feel something is amiss. There is space left in my stroller. Space which I will fill someday, I am certain. My heart is, and yet I...
attempt to face the treacherous Ladakh was in vain. It was my only opportunity to correct what has been done. What you and I have both done has doomed the world to more than it can endure. Tis a load that was always too leaden for our shoulders. In order to vanquish Ladakh, we must find a solution. And I fear it will not...
Annabella, Katerina, what brings you to this place? Courage has blessed you. Now you must be honored. I do not wish for such a thing. Come now. You have fought against the darkness, healed the hearts of so many. You are one of us in this revered chamber. Ladak is defeated, diminished. Ladak is slain, yes, but I fear his influence still lingers. You are correct. But no matter. You have joined us. You have finally relinquished yourself of that feeble vanguard order. For your moral actions, you must take your place upon the throne to rule and guide all who live in this terrible place. You will bring balance back to so many. We have all been terrorized for far too long, sitting in the shadow, slowly decaying, with our hope dwindling with every passing second. We have seen what you have done for all of us. You have brought us together, cast aside our woes. There is no one more worthy. Take the throne and continue your noble work. Annabella and I will remain beside you. Learned counsel for you to lend an eager ear. You have made a valiant choice, sacrificing yourself for all who seek hope. Rest, sire. Your new throne must be a comfort to you. All hail, Eric. You have taken your place amongst your true kin, Eric. And so it is written. Your new existence, one that was always meant for you. The path you have taken has led to this moment, this honor, to serve your God. Welcome home, Eric. Decline? How dare you? We weakened Ladak. Ground him down until we could rip out his heart. You merely completed the task. We set your destiny in motion. A clear path for you to tread. A prosperous future anointed you a key entity of a single force to oversee these lands. But, but you, you have, have rejected, rejected this, this destiny. destiny. So, so be it. it. You, you will, will not, not survive for long. long. You, you shall kneel to your God. Will, will kneel to me. Come now. Your ineffectual efforts are ludicrous. Thank you. 
would reject your fate, despite all you have endured. I gaze now upon your wretched husk, and ponder upon what could have been fulfilled. Alas, I shall gather further disciples to heal what has been squandered this day. But your fate has been decided. Feel the final judgment of the faith, Eric, for it is just. Rest well. Annabella, Kare, I do not come. Ladder, Ladder kiss. You are, but no, for your upon the th we have take. Decline. We said, but you. You should have stayed away, Eric. Forsaken what wasn't yours to bear, yes. The knowledge you have amassed has been unbearable to resist. The prize, an illuminating one. A prize which I must now relinquish from you. I shall put your mind and body to rest. For eternity. Mm. 
The deceptions of the divine. The last faith reaches its end. 